today our bad news was confirmed. We're stuck on the hard. We've had some bad news concerning our rudder, so we'll be here while it gets replaced. So this is the rudder stock, kind of bent that way, and there's cracks. While that's happening, there's only one thing to do, and that's explore. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, yeah. I'm ready. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. <laughs> One of the things we enjoy here is finding cool little spots to eat. Welcome to Nats. This is one of the best kept secrets in Grenada. Welcome to the best pizza place in Grenada. We'll get into a little more about Nats later in this episode. In the meantime, we're going to enjoy the warm tropical weather and each other's company. Playing soccer with Reese at Nats Pizza. What are you looking for? Cars? You did a good job. I'm proud of you. Even though Calypso's on the hard, we still have trouble not hanging out on her. We love our boat, as well as spontaneous safety drills. I need to give chest compressions because there's no pulse and there's no breathing. I need to give you heart compressions and I need to give you oxygen. Uh, call 911 on it. You can never have too many drills. Things happen fast on a boat. Practicing emergency procedures can be fun and they can save your life if needed. How long do you do that for? Until help comes or you're too exhausted to continue on and hopefully someone else can step in. Ready to check out the spice market? Yeah. On Saturdays it's really big around here for the spice market in Grenada, so we're gonna go check it out. Water, water. No, thank you. Each Saturday, there's a huge opportunity to get some fresh food. We love it. The locals set up cool little shops where you can get pretty much anything you need. Like chocolate? There's a ton of that here also. So this is roasted, so crack it open. And you remove this, that's a cocoa nib. Hold on to it, smell it. <laughs> Mm. So this is hot chocolate. What you drink from this? It's like hot chocolate, dude. Yeah. Smell it. This gentleman didn't even work here. He was just passing through and decided to show us some of the local customs. Grenada really has some of the sweetest people we've ever met. So we came out to Mount Carmel waterfall today. It's, a, it's I think it's the last waterfall there is for us to do. We haven't we've done all of them, I think, but. It's a beautiful waterfall. Pretty big area to swim, and uh, it'd be, it's a little bit cloudy today. But I wonder if the sun, if the sun were to hit it, I bet it'd be really spectacular. But I say it's probably one of the more beautiful waterfalls that we've found so far on Grenada. This is the highest of all the falls on the island of Grenada. It has two falls cascading over 70 feet into the pools below. It was pretty hot outside, as usual, so we just spent the afternoon relaxing around and cooling off in the water. No, that's all right. I got my pinky problem. I, I don't have a lot of strength in it. The water is like, it feels like you're obedient to you. This is because 
become a weekly ritual. Pizza? At Nats. I love it, man. What do you love about it? It's good pizza. Pizza's my favorite. There's this Italian dude that has this little place called Nats. I guess his name's Nat. And uh, it's just like, he has a really nice little house on top of a hill, but under that, he's got like a shipping container and cut a couple holes in it and made himself like a little pizzeria. It's got like a wood burning stove in there and all this like cool ambient stuff. He's got like pallet tables in front. It's an awesome little spot. It's only open on Friday and Saturday. He does takeout. You gotta get there earlier though because he estimates how many people will come and he only has that many doughs, you know, for the night. And once he's out, you don't get any pizza. So we've gone over there three or four times now and uh, it's a good time. It's really cool. He, he sits there, he has a joint hanging out of his mouth the entire time as he's making pizzas. It's funny. What's your favorite thing about it? Um, the sauce. The sauce? Yes. Nice. It's literally come like our fourth Friday in a, ro a row that we've gone and he has like pizzas that he's just made up. And the boys have been getting margarita. A little boring. But last week I got, I usually get a different one each time. And last week I got one that's like margarita but spicy and they loved it. So I think that's what they're going to go with this week, right? What is it, the hemp? The hemp. The yeah, hemp. hemp pizza is awesome. And you'd think it was like piled with hemp seeds, but it's not. It's really just a spicy version of the margarita. So, uh, yeah, they're going to try that one out. The, the pizzas are 35 EC, which is a little over, no, oh, right around $10 American. So we usually get like three pizzas, and that feeds us. He only has so much dough, right? So you got to be respectful of that. You can't order a whole bunch, and then, yeah, that's how it goes. But it usually fills us up. There's a field. Uh, right next to the pizza place the kids go and play sometimes we bring glow sticks so the kids can hold on to the glow sticks And uh, we just have a good time Family event family night outing the drive to Nats will take you through some little villages Which is cool before you get dumped out into a large open area. This place isn't listed anywhere. It's strictly word-of-mouth Usually we park down there Yeah, they close it. I guess it's been it's raining. raining. Yeah You ready for some pizza? Yeah. It's free YOB, by the way. So we carry it cooler. So you just bring any drinks you'd like to have, grab a pallet table, and then place your order. This is the menu. So you'll t look at the menu, take a piece of paper, you'll write down what you want, you stick it up here, and it just goes in a circle. And he usually, like, if he has more people, he'll do like pizza over there, pizza over there. He won't give you all of yours at once, he'll give you like one every 10 minutes. And then you get your pizza, and he has like oils, napkins, red pepper, salt and pepper. Really, really cool setup. This is actually a sail on top. So last week we were here, it was pouring rain. We actually all ended up up here underneath the sail from the rain. Um, and then it's bring your own beer or drinks or whatever. So I usually pack a little cooler bag, and we have some beers. The boys have some soda or water. And he's done this all himself. From the tree, right from the tree. My body ain't confused no more. Are you here, Don? I'm looking at the sky, see the spark and singing. Put it up there, and then he'll come out, spin it around, and have it. One thing about Nat is he doesn't mess around. He'll lock you on if you're slacking on picking up your order which is pretty funny to be a part of. If you have to use that piece of wine, you should need to use it. You don't look with you. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Now that's some good pizza decoration. The hemp pizza. <laughs> Picked us out of decoration and all. The blonde bombshell beauty. Here she is. Hi, ladies' lunch. Hi, oh, ladies' lunch. Ladies lunch. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here. Wait. Oh, yeah, over there. <laughs> Great. Yes. Good. Hi, Hi ladies' lunch. lunch. Hi, That's what we're doing. Lunch. GoPro, it's funny we walked up to each other <laughs> filming each other. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's take a picture here. 
coming up on the Lazy Geckos. Cheers, ladies. This is about five dollars a foot. Oh my gosh. Ah, the redoing of the line. This is our new runner. We noticed that they were off center, so we're manually having to adjust them. Try to match up that line. This one's this little bolt, and I'll put a couple times. Feeling good, man. And now I hear some type of motor. Dremels are awesome. Put safety wire through here. Put this little three-way valve in here. This one here is the voltage sensor. Oh, it's still on the install on regular stuff. I appear to be the only one wearing a mask. Drones flying above us. They're, they're arresting people from the drones. It's a 24 hour a day lockdown. The maximum for our whole passage will be 21.3 knots. This is day one of our trip from Grenada back to the United States. All right. We'll hit the Statue of Liberty, that'd be bad. Here's up the East River. We are on the East River. We are coming into Hell Gate. What are you doing? You see him blowing? Yeah. The thing is, there's no power to this at all right now. None. Stop saying that's weird. Tell me something. Ugh, I feel weird. Isn't that weird? That's never happened before. Mm -hmm. So they say that when you anchor off of Heart Island, lights will flicker on your boat. They specifically say lights will flicker on your boat. And I was just coming out, turn the lights on, Lucy lights on, whatever. And I come by and I see it. I check, I check my bill pumps, which they're on. And this is they're flickering. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, it's a smoking. Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos.